Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Battlefield Yugoslavia. Today we will be fighting in a defensive operation, it seems anyway, against the Croat forces. They will be launching an offensive against us that is historically known as Operation Hurricane. To repel this offensive we will have to fight with all we've got. Because historically, the Croats were actually quite successful with the offensive. Therefore, we will be fighting tactically this time around. Taking down the Croats wherever we can, and whittling them down, capturing their bases, until they surrender. So we will be climbing up this hill to get a vantage point of sorts. As you can see, we have a base up here, nice little, nice little statue here as well. We'll see if it has anything written on it. Yes, it does, but I can't read Cyrillic too well, especially when it's this badly rendered. Either way, we can advance on the Croat base over there. Okay, I heard Croat bullets and we just got shot dead by a Croat bastard. Okay. This might be a tricker, trickier operation than I expected. You may also have noticed that I changed the volume settings on this God damn it! Okay, I changed the volume settings on this game, so you could hear my voice better. Since apparently the gunfire was kind of blocking me out. So now we've captured that base from the Croats. And we're recapturing our home base from the Croats as well. It seems they've gotten smarter over the past few episodes, since they actually know how to ambush me and to kill me, which is a big change. Either way, we will not let them win. We will kill them at every turn. As you can see, we have machine gunners ready at the home base. But they've taken the advanced space from us, we need to keep firing. Come on, you Croat scum, show yourselves! Cowards! There we go. I think we'll try and take this car, well, this armored vehicle anyway. Use it to advance on the Croat positions. Okay, they won't let me in. No worries though. Okay, we're in. Come on, Stefan, get out of the driver's seat, you know. Okay. So, apparently, Stefan doesn't want to get out of the driver's seat, so we'll have to go on foot. I've turned up the game volume a tiny bit. I hope this is not a problem. Tell me in the comments section if this is a problem. We have a Croat tank advancing on us. This is not good. We will have to take anti-tank duties. We will fire rockets. So tell me in the comments section. Please comment below as to the volume quality since... Well, the sound quality since you might not be able to hear me. And what the fuck is that Croat tank doing on a roof? That is just fantastic. Those are some... Got some good traction he has there, that's for sure. And he's retreating, great, we'll get him now. There we go, we stopped this bastard in his tracks. Take that, Mr. Ratko Mikic. So he's still killing, he's still infle inflicting casualties, but we will not let him do that. Okay, now because it's the an anti-tank class, we are using some relatively old weaponry. To be specific, we're using a Thompson submachine gun, which is very, very obsolete. Either way, as you can see, we are losing bases to the Croats, which is not good at all. We should change our class, of course, to get our Zastava rifle back. And we will continue to press against the Croat forces. I'm honestly a bit afraid about the prospects of this battle, but if all goes well, we should be able to win. I feel like I'm too confident now when I accidentally killed one of my favorites, well, one of my fellow Serbs, anyway. Can't say he was a favorite of mine, since I never got to know him. Sad story, but true story. Oh god, come on Zoran, come on, out of the way! Ah, for fuck's sake, at least he can defend that place when the Croats come along. I think that's a Croat there. We'll see. Okay, that is a Croat coming down the hill. Good thing we shot him dead. 
Croats do not have that tank, that is good. We at least have our own T-55 here. Those are, once again, our comrades. But the Croats are attempting to take that base, which is not good in any way whatsoever. Oh my god, that rocket was a really near miss. Well, you know, as the true as the true Serb here, we can dodge rockets at will. They just pass right through us. You know, we do a Matrix kind of thing. We slow down time and those Ustache bastards can't get us for shit. Two things kind of combine. Meanwhile, we are forced to pull back since our planned attack on the Croat base is being foiled. We have to instead defend our own base, which is bad. But at least we have a base. There will be times later on in the series, much later on to be honest, I'm sorry for the spoiler alert this might be, where we will be far more desperate for this. And it seems that the Serb cannot dodge a rocket because... Well, reasons, I guess. Must have been one of those heat-seeking rockets, and after all, nobody can dodge one of those. Unless you're cold-blooded, which those Croat bastards most certainly are. We the Serbs, however, have the warmest of blood and the warmest of hearts. We are true comrades, and great people, <laughs> even when it comes to shooting bastards dead. Well, to be honest, I can't say any of this, not, not knowing too many Serbs. I know a few, but, you know, I don't know too many in real life. Not enough to form a judgment anyway. Okay, so now we are just repelling these Croat offensives, and another rocket just got us. Great. But Serbia will win. As you can see, it's quite clearly Serbia since it, there's even Serbian flags. Well, it's kind of a strange middle ground here since... We're playing as the Yugoslav army, which by this point mostly consisted of Serbs. We're still fighting in 1991 against Croat separatists. So there will be members of the army from other Ser well, other Yugoslav republics. We'll have Macedonian troops, Muslim troops, and all those. But of course by this point the majority will be Serbian. And we just stopped a nice little staring contest there. I guess the two of them ran out of ammunition and decided to settle it like men. Come on, Predrag, follow me. We'll see. Okay, there's Croats in these parts. These here parts. Great, so he will be following. And I think he might just... I think he's dead. Okay. Miroslav Margetic, prepare to die. Okay. Now we'll try some long-range Kalashnikov firing. Okay, the Croats are now trying the exact same thing, which is not good for us. But we will inflict some casualties nonetheless. We will also distract them from repelling the main Serb offensive, which is in that direction. And another Croat bastard got us, great. I say we'll go back to defend our main base. Since it's under attack by Sashe Filt which we must clear out from our lovely Traina. Historically, it was, the fa it was the success of this Croat offensive that actually forced the Serbs to accept the UN brokered ceasefire in Kraina. Hopefully, we will repel this offensive and make sure that such a ceasefire will never be necessary at all. Never again. There's a Croat just dying. But we'll get them. We'll get them good. No hiding from Serbia, that's for sure. There we go. So now we are on an equal footing with the Croats once again. They have taken slightly lower casualties than us, or so it seems. At least we stopped that tank that was attacking. So now our friend here, Radovan, is making the same mistake that the other dude did. But that doesn't matter. It really doesn't. 
since as long as we can keep the pressure up on the Croats, we can win. And they're taking our base. Okay, now it all matters, we are losing. The mountaintop has been taken, we cannot allow this. Not one bit will we allow this. Here we go, Croatia. Time to die. You're Here we go. That's... We've spearheaded our offensive. There's some, not there's some really strange sounding groans there. I guess our love for war goes a bit further than usual. But we have captured the mountaintop. We have reached the mountaintop. And we will defend it for Serbia. We will crush these intruders with all the weapons that are at our disposal. With God as our witness, and under heavy rocket fire, we hereby declare our readiness to defend Serbia. And they now have rocket artillery. Great. But that doesn't matter to us. We will keep resisting against the odds no matter what. We have a pretty much a stalemate in this battle and if the battle drags on to about, let's say, half an hour perhaps without any clear defined end, we will put an end to it ourselves. Now Croat scum, where are you? Show yourselves to me. There you are. You should be ashamed to show your to de to, to even dare to show your faces here. So they're attacking from the outskirts. This is not good, not good at all. We have to keep the pressure up. We'll try and clear out this house of Croats. It'll also give us a vantage point to fire down on the attackers below. And they have taken the radar bunker, this is not good. Okay, we have cleared out this house since there weren't any Croats in it. <clears throat> and now we will use it. Okay, we're struggling to climb stairs. We need to train our Serbian man here. So he seems to be quite unfit. Not unfit for duty, of course, just unfit physically. We'll hide ourselves from prolapse. <laughs> Bastards! Okay, we'll be needing a rocket again. We'll choose this one. I think it's guided or something along those lines, which is pretty cool. Okay, we have... yeah, it has a scope. Fantastic. And we also have this big fucking machine gun, so that's great. We'll have to get closer to the Croat tank if we want to hit it, though. So we'll go up into the house and we'll get our vantage point. We'll use this machine gun to lay down some suppressing fire while we are at it. Come on, Croat. Wakey, wakey, come around the corner. Can't hide for long. There we go. Invisible missile goes in. You know, you can say it's a stealth missile launcher. You see, the Croats won't even see the rockets coming since they're completely invisible. You know, if we had this kind of stealth technology at the beginning of the war, we would have won by now. Okay, this Croat is still resisting despite our strongest invisible rockets. And we killed each other in a showdown. That is pretty cool, I will admit. So this time around we will try a semi-automatic weapon, which is what I've wanted to do for the past five or six episodes now anyway, since I think I'm actually pretty decent with a semi-automatic rifle in my hands. But first we need to find some Croats to hunt down and slaughter like cattle. Well, like dogs, I don't know, like mad dogs. The point is, we have to find some Croats and kill them, we have to shoot them dead. Since we are losing otherwise, which is not a good thing to be doing, under any circumstance whatsoever. It is our obligation to Yugoslavia to kill these Croat separatists, wherever they may be. And that is what we will do. Mark my words. Of course, I'm sorry if the rhetoric is getting repetitive anyway, since if the rhetoric is getting repetitive, 
you can pretty much blame me for not coming up with anything new. Despite that, we will d deal a death blow to the Croat forces. We will, we will defend the mountain top. We will one shot these Croats with our semi-automatic automatic rifle, and we will make Serbia great again. We will build a wall and make the Croats pay for it. And this wall will be huge. Well, excuse me, it'll be huge. There we go. We're on the mountaintop. That wall will go right through the middle of Zagreb. And it will be enforced with semi-automatic rifles like this one. God damn it. Okay, we have lost the mountaintop. We have lost the mountaintop. But no worries whatsoever. No worries, we will retake Mountain Top. To say it in as much of a Serbian accent as I can. Of course, if you enjoy the Serbian accent, you can tell me in the comments section. And maybe I might do an entire video or something like that with this accent. Who knows. Since I am more than capable of doing such accent for entirety of video while killing Croats. So, of course, yeah, as I said, tell me in the comment section if you enjoy that accent. If you don't, tell me that as well. I'm happy to get any feedback whatsoever. Okay, we just slayed another Croat there. We are putting down these Croat dogs, the only good way we know how. The only good Croat here is a dead Croat. And we have a tank, it's jumping, it's jumping, That those are some nice hydraulics there. It's like something out of a goddamn hip-hop music video. Either way, it seems that despite the fact that we control a majority of the bases, the Croats are not losing points. This is the furthest we've advanced in a long time though, so it's good. Where the hell are these Croats? Okay, there they are. We'll have to watch out left and right, we'll have to look both ways as we cross into this bunker. You know, the rules of the road are useful even in the decaying nation that Yugoslavia is. That Croat tried to run away. He failed. There we go, we'll flank this man here. We'll get him, okay, we, we don't have to get him. So the Croats continue to use rocket artillery, this is not good. And we got an RPK-74 round delivered right to the face. Great. I think we'll go back to the Zastava since we were having better a better time using that. Either way, it seems like we will lose the battle, but we will inflict as many casualties as we can nonetheless. Okay, that Croat had a quick end put to his miserable life. That's a nice little sign there, a warning sign for any Croat who dares to trespass on Serb territory again. Now, where is the Croat army? A question that many people have been looking to answer, and which we will answer decisively with our Zastava rifle. Okay, not our Zastava rifle, but the Croat guy's Zastava rifle. Anyway, we've answered the question and that's what matters. We will now use a heavy machine gun, as you do, to mow down Croat forces. And they have reached the mountaintop. This is not good. Okay, so they've made it into the bunker as well. It's a pretty impressive bunker though. It's big, it's roomy, it's spacious, it's imposing, and many other things that you can just pull out of your thesaurus when you want to. And we just got some barbed wire to the balls, great. That doesn't matter though, so long as we can hold the bunker, which we have to do, no matter what. We will get Yozo back Boksic for what he did, mark my words once again. Because I am 100% serious. We have retaken the mountaintop. We are now on the verge of the decisive victory I was talking about. We can now march on the one remaining Croat base, because we have now successfully avenged ourselves. We've killed Jozo Boksic. And he got exactly what he deserved. 
we have our tanks advancing. I can see the Croat HQ in the distance. All is going well for the Serbs. And all will go well for the Serbs. We will win this war. And that is not an exaggeration or a lie. We have so many men here right on the front, at front in the front of this base. We have retaken the mountaintop. The Croat base is under siege. It is literally impossible by this point for us to be failing. We will rain down debt on these Croats. God frickin' damn it, we've lost the home base. We have lost both of our bases. Okay, we got outrun by the Croats, we've been flanked. This is a very bad situation, a very tricky situation. But that is not something to worry about. We will retake the base, we will kill the Croats, and we will guarantee the integrity of the Serbian Krajina's borders. That is a promise that I promise to keep. I swear to keep this promise until the very end of the series if I can. And since the end of the, end of the series is quite far away, I think we've made roughly one-sixth of the series by this point, so that's maybe roughly 15%. There's a lot more to come, and this might even go on through February and March and all that. And also... By the way, I forgot to say I'd like to wish you all a Happy New Year. It's been two days, of course, maybe even three by the time the video is up, but I hope you all had a great New Year. I personally did. Because now, we have to get back into the trenches. We have to vanquish the Croats from their positions here, and make sure that Serbia will, be never, will never be underestimated again. They were on the verge of capturing the base. This is not good. This guy looks kind of drunk. Okay, who is he firing at? Okay, he's dead. Great. Now we must recapture our, the, our HQ from the Croats. It's a tragedy that we lost it in the first place, but so we did. Now the episode is starting to get long, I will have to admit. We could of course turn this into a two-part series, which I might, well, into a two-part episode, which I think we might. Since the battle is dragging on, and we've been giving a, uh, these Croats a lot more resistance than they expected. Now, if we had more Serbs on duty taking this base, that would be great. Sons of guns. Come on, get out! Get out! Okay. So that was just a lot of Serbian gibberish there, I guess. But we got some reinforcements. We are on the verge of retaking the base. I will apologize if I do have to put an end to this video early since the decisive end to the Croat offensive might not be reached. If it isn't, then we'll have a relatively historical result. We'll have a stalemate, UN brokered ceasefire, demilitarized areas, such and such. So we'll be getting a historical outcome in this battle. We will put an end to the episode relatively soon, that's for certain anyway. I say once we recapture this base, we can declare it all a stalemate. But until then we will accidentally shoot Milovan Djordjevic, our good comrade, in the back. Because he didn't identify himself. Either way, we'll hurl a grenade into the distance. Because the Croat just noticed us. Notice me, Croat, notice me. Okay, we got that guy. We got that guy too. Another one bites the dust. And we have recaptured this base for glorious Serbia. 
just in time to get shot in the face. Now we will defend the bunker. We have lost the bunker. Okay, then. We don't mind. Instead, I think I will be putting an end to the episode with this stalemate here. Before that happens, though, I will stop the Croats right in front of our base. So that's pretty much exhausted the Croat offensive. They're beating us, but barely. So, just like episode 2, we have a bit of a stalemate. So, on that note, I can't fire any bullets into the air to celebrate victory Serbian Christmas style. But I can still wish you all a happy late new year. Happy 2017. And I've, be, I've been a nerd gamer. Thank you for watching. And goodbye for now.